What's going on everybody? Thanks for clicking on the video and today we're gonna be playing vaccine for the Nintendo switch All right guys, so check this out. This is the switches very first survival horror game But it's currently only available on the Japanese eShop. It's a thousand yen and that's about uh, Ten dollars or so us. So it's not that expensive It's a little bit more on the affordable side of the indie switch games but it looks very, very cool because it reminds me so much of old school survival horror games like with tanky controls like Resident Evil and Dino Crisis even. So, I mean, look at it. It's very, very PS1 era looking. You can pick between, I guess, two different characters. I've never played it before. I kind of wanted to save my reaction for you guys just because I knew that I would be so excited to actually try this out. So we have Rita O'Connor, 28 years old. Best rank cockroach. Okay, so yeah, we have like our different skill levels and stuff like that. This game has stats, so it's... Like, unlike old school Resident Evil and Dino Crisis, this is more RPG-like, I guess. You can level up your character and stuff. So let's go in with Manuel. Let's see how he plays. He kind of looks like Hunk from Resident Evil with that gas mask. At least that's what I was thinking. So let's see. Excuse the background noise. Uh, by the way, I'm still in New York, so there's going to be, like, some traffic -y noise. I'll, I'll try and filter it out in editing. Um, let's see. Find a vaccine before the time runs out. Okay, so we have 30 minutes to do this. Looks like my partner is... Oh yeah, these are tank controls. I'm playing with split Joy-Con, by the way. Ooh, what's going on? Is suffering. I better hurry up. Ooh, okay, so... Is suffering. I better hurry up. That's... I guess it's not very well localized just yet, which is probably why it's still only on the Japanese eShop. You picked up a knife. You can equip it in the menu. Sweet. Weapon. Right away. Right off the bat. Okay. Graphics. Graphically, this game obviously is not, like so <laughs> intensively beautiful, I guess, or it's not very new age, new generation looking, but that's okay because, I don't know, I don't know, it's very confusing, like, why they would have sort of harkened back towards this era, um, because I feel like these sort of graphics don't very, they don't, they don't really, like, hold up too well, I guess, um, in the modern era. Like, I know retro stuff really does, but I don't really consider this, like, a retro style of graphics. I, I consider this very much like a transitional time in graphical era and and like it you know it caused a lot of issues like clipping and oh my god a zombie oh two zombies right off the bat okay this game just wants me to shut up and play eureka <laughs> i'm gonna try not to die like instantly let me get out of this weird get out <laughs> get out run <laughs> this is oh this is sloppy okay go go back to the kitchen cameras <laughs> very much like resident evil all right here we go Ugh. Oh, I'm losing health here. How much health do I have? Let's see, life, 56. I still got 24 XP out of that. Can I... Ooh, there's another one coming. He's coming for me. I'm just gonna stay... Ah, oh, he's stuck in the door! That's right, take that! Take that, Clipper! <laughs> Jesus, these zombies. Okay, got it. I'm through. Alright, so... This person... Are you alive? Are you dead? Can I talk to you? Oh, okay, I just, I guess I put you out of your misery. All right, let's see, what does this note say? Eureka, after further investigation, I can now confirm. The laser beams actually control a single bridge door. There are three separated in different dimensions. Ooh, dimensions. I have, uh, I have to find them, deactivate them, and find where the bridge opens. Hurry up, Damon, you can do it! All right, let's go do it. Huh, more zombies. No. Get through it, get through it. Get through it, you can do it. I just feel like this turns into a button masher almost. I need a gun. I hope I don't die like instantly. 27 life. We, we need a med pack. Ooh, there's a zombie right there. Let's see if we can sneak up to him. Come on. There we go. Finally. Okay. Can I crack this crate open? No, doesn't look like I can break that. So I lost my ability to run, which kind of sucks. Oh man. There are, like, enemies around every corner in this game. Like, when you were playing Resident Evil back in the day, or Dino Crisis, they kind of eased you into zombies. It wasn't so action-y. This is very much more action-y, I guess, than, than survival horror, um, I would say. Or at least, like, it's a survival horror mode, or a survival horror game on, like, very hard mode right now, is what it feels like. And I'm dead! I'm already dead. I'm all ready dead how long did we go for jeez is that like not even five minutes i think all right we're gonna restart i think it's like randomly generated 
I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I might be wrong though. Let's see. Uh, that it's kind of a game changer if it is, right? We'll try and go in uh, the same direction and see if the same stuff loads up. So we'll find out together. All right. Despite all your efforts, your friend got infected again. Find a vaccine before the time runs out. All right. So, same starting room. See if we can pick up this same knife here. Maybe they just give you the same stuff in the beginning. Okay. See, there's there was a note here I didn't read. Logos. As previously mentioned, our team will be provided with some weapons. There will be no military members with us, so I ask Robert to provide us with some basic information for beginners. Blackworm will provide you with some knife. <laughs> with some knife. Take some knife. A normal and a custom nine mm Pistol and a shotgun. The knife is the most basic weapon. If engaged in combat, it uses... Alright, blah, 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 blah. It's ranged. Yes. We know how knives work. We get it. Alright, let's see. There's another bed in here. I wonder if I could... Is this like a save point? There's probably no saving in this game. Because it looks like it's just a 30 minute run. And you're done. Um, okay, so we're going through. There's a rat right there. Oh, I gotta equip that knife. It's not like an auto-equip thing. Let's see. It's a little hard to see in the menu, though. Okay, going- Ooh! I already got bit by rats. This game is difficult. Alright, here we go. Down. You are dead. It's not- <clears throat> I wouldn't say it's hard because of- Okay, so it does look different. There are different- Definitely different things happening here. This is very randomly generated, I would say. So, that's exciting, especially because it's a 30 minute run. So, it's almost like a roguelike, I guess you could say. Which is very awesome. That is, that is so cool. I'm so excited that this game came to the Switch. Because as sloppy as it looks, it's actually quite a lot of fun. Especially if you grew up playing um, those games. Like old school Resident Evil and Dino Crisis. Um, you, you, I'm having a lot of fun checking this out so far. I'm just worried about how much depth there is. Or how repetitive these rooms might get. But I don't. Uh, we've only seen a couple duplicates so far. So... How am I doing on health here? We've got 70. I think I'm doing much better this run. 28. We're gonna just keep going and, and see how far we can go. If maybe we can complete it. Nothing particularly interesting. Hmm, I said that very affirmatively. <laughs> Nothing particularly interesting here. Let's see. What's on that table? You picked up an energy bar. I would like an energy gun. Uh, I think that would help a lot with this. You picked up a repellent. What does a repellent do? Is it like a zombie repellent? Industrial spray that can cover your body, smell, and make you temporarily um, undesirable for creatures. I guess it is a zombie repellent. That's what it looks like. Cool. So maybe we can save that and use it for when we need it. Uh, is there something on that table right there? A Victorian table. No? Okay. So we're going to keep going. Let's see. Go through this door. You, op you get XP even when you just get into a new room. You get like one XP. Some family portraits. So yeah, you, you can go up to stuff and expect inspect it. Oh man, this is cool. This is so exciting. I, I don't know why they didn't want to put this out on the US eShop. I feel like a game like this would be a, almost like a secret hit, you know? Like something that we didn't see coming, which is really cool. I mean, it's definitely not for everybody. I don't think everybody would enjoy like the sort of way you move around in this game, because it's definitely tank controls. You have to get right back into that, but it's more so tanky like I would say the remaster of Resident Evil was like it's not as bad obviously I'm moving around a little bit easier let's see it's a statue right there a copy of a Greek a famous Greek statue okay Are there puzzles I guess there's got to be puzzles here I mean what kind of a survival horror experience would it be without puzzles hmm I got one XP for go ooh what is that thing on the ground that is scary uh demon baby demon baby whatever that is die die <laughs> okay I think I need health do I need health let's just do it let's what does the energy bar do does that give me like more energy wait can I level up too what's happening there we go okay an energy bar Increase your stamina temporarily. I don't need stamina. Do I need stamina right now? I don't think I need stamina. Uh, medicine. Yeah, let's just do it. Just in case. Alright, I think that thing's dead. 
Wow, that was intense. Where did I come from? You, all right, maybe it's a little dark here. I guess I don't want to increase the the brightness while I'm streaming. It looks so much better on my computer screen. I'll have to do that later. But um, yeah, let, there was something in the options menu. It's like CRT effects. I kind of want to see what that does. Oh, okay. <laughs> CRT effects. That is definitely old school looking. I don't know if I like that though. It kind of looks like weird on the TV. Maybe it would look better on handheld mode though. I'm gonna have to test that out. So, all right, let's keep going. We're 20, we've got 26 minutes left. Don't have a key for that door. Nothing here, I better hurry up. Okay, let's see. Eureka, well, there was something there, I guess. After further investigation, I can now confirm the laser beams actually control. Okay, we've kind of read this before in that last run, I think. So, that stuff is sort of the same. I don't remember if the room that we found that note looked like this, though. Let's see, okay. Back to this main hall here with this gigantic statue. Maybe, is this, can I examine the statue? I can't. I guess I can. This must be uh, the statue of someone important. No, duh. Isn't, like, every statue a statue of somebody important? You know? Like, why else would they make a statue of a demon baby? Oh my god. Okay, this thing has a lot of health, and this knife seems like it does a lot of damage. It's like 25, unless the damage goes up to, like, you know, the thousands or whatever, like crazy RPGs do. An old picture. Okay, there's something on the ground. I can see the flicker. Get it? <laughs> why would they make the camera change right... They made the camera change right in the spot where you need to pick it up. That's so stupid. Okay, you picked up a clip for a 9mm gun. Does that mean Does that mean there's a gun close by? Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm excited. Let's see. I don't like this piece of furniture. I don't like I don't like this piece of furniture. Could you imagine if that's if they put that in like Resident Evil games like text like that? This house sucks as you walk through it. Press A just like talks crap about the house. Nothing particularly interesting in this house. <laughs> Resident Grumpy. <laughs> An old book, okay. An old book, too bad I can't read. Let's see, okay, we're gonna move forward. 25 minutes, back into the kitchen. Writing this, not sure if someone will ever read it. They have decided to throw me through the multiple, the multi-bridge and close it immediately after. Bastards, now I'm trapped in this house. There is no way out. It's like a maze. What is going to happen to me? Am I going to die? Am I going to suffer the Shredder Syndrome? God help me, Damon. Shredder Syndrome. Okay. Very interesting. Ugh, demon baby! What's going on with all these demon babies? All of these demon babies coming out of the dark. And I only have 15 health left. I need something here. Can I level something up? Health. I, if I level my health up, will I get more health? Ooh, what just happened? I don't even know. Okay, so I'm not sure how the level up stuff works just yet. Because I clicked on it and it didn't it doesn't say like level 2 now or maybe it does. No, it doesn't. Okay, well we'll fi we'll figure that out as we go. But I right now I need to figure out how to get some energy here. I have a lot of ammo or I have at least two clips for a gun that I don't have yet. So let's just use the industrial spray. Maybe some stamina would help, I guess. I don't know. New status change rush. I guess that doesn't help me if I can't really. Oh no, I think this might be it, dudes. No, 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 no. Who? What happened? How much health do I have? Six? I don't even know how I made it through that. This is not. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna go again. We're gonna do it again. I, I'm having a lot of fun with this. Um, normally in roguelikes, I'd probably get a little frustrated at this point because I already put like, I don't know, uh, 20 minutes into this and didn't get very far, but I'm gonna go again. I like this. This is this is interesting. I think this could be a game that I could learn unless, unless we find out that there isn't too much depth, but we'll see. Hmm. Despite all your efforts, your friend got infected again. Find a vaccine before the time runs out. Okay. Knife on the floor.
He picked up a knife, got through it. Go, go, go. All right, that guy's shaking. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. <laughs> Shh, it's going to be fine. It's going to be okay, man. <laughs> Let me just take your XP. Okay, is that a gun? That kind of looks like a gun on the floor. Oh, I would freak out if that was a gun. The gold key? It's just lying on the floor like that? Okay, I need it. So, so that seems like an important item that they just gave me right away at the beginning of this run, which is good. That's cool, but I guess that just goes to show that you don't... I guess there's pro there probably aren't very many puzzles in this game, because I feel like we would have found one by now. Um, especially if they really wanted to go the survival horror route. But this this really does feel... I mean, obviously it's like a horror game, but it feels way more like a roguelike than anything. Um, especially like an action roguelike. Look, I already got the silver key. I got a gold key and a silver key. Maybe it's because I died twice now. It, it's like it, uh, it knows... It's like helping me now. The game gets easier. <laughs> some family portraits. Okay, some family, or we've been in this room before. We've definitely been here. There's some two, there's two zombies there. What is this? Industrial spray, undesirable, I'll do that. Now I'm undesirable, right? I'm undesirable. I'm supposed to be undesirable. This is supposed to make me not wanted. All right, it's all right. At least I didn't get hit. I feel like I'm getting much stronger though. Oh, okay, so, cool. I guess you just do get stronger. Maybe you just have to, like, accept the level up and your stats progress. Must be, like, a very simple progression system. At least that's what it seems like. Cool. Alright, alright. We're going through. Going into the next one. Doorknob is broken. Well, just kick the door open. <laughs> kick it, man! Psh! No, he's not going to do it. Can I hit it with a knife? Doubt it. Doubt it. This game does not seem like it has physics, so I'm not going to sit there and try and do it. Let's see. Is that a door over there? No. Oh. Is it? What did I just open? Oh, there's another shiny thing right there. Chewing gum. What does chewing gum do? Will help you relax and improve your aim temporarily. Oh, that's, that's kind of smart. That's kind of a cool item. Alright, there's our door. That was definitely very hard to see because of these gorgeous graphics. They definitely hold up. Definitely hold up. And by definitely, I mean definitely not. They do not hold up. <laughs> but still playable, still fine. Let's see. Moonlight Sonata through the next door. There's a ton of reading in this game. There's a ton of reading that's not really getting me anywhere. It's just kind of fluff. Uh, okay. Go through it. Go through it. I want something more than a knife. I feel like I'd be doing so much better if I had a gun or some sort of a ranged weapon. They, they like to give ammo. I guess you gotta earn that gun. Proximity mine. Hmm. Proximity mine. Looks good. Energy bar. Got another one. Do I need to heal yet? Nah, I guess my life is fine. Uh, let's see. Going through. I wish there was a way to go into first person mode, but that might be too intense for this game. At least when you get bit, you don't lose too much money. Or too much, too much money. Too much health either. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Health. So yeah, I'll eat that energy bar now. And I'll also take a level up. Thank you very much! Okay, energy bar. I got a rush. Ooh, I can like run really fast now. That's cool. Too bad the controls... <laughs> the door is broken! Too bad the controls don't really let you run accurately. That kind of sucks. Alright, uh, I'm like swerving from side to side. Is that a screen door? Can I go out through there? No. Guess I can't. Let's see. We're going through... Try and find... Was there another way? There has to be something over there. There's gotta be. Is there no door? For real? I know that it's a, the door was broken, but... No? Nothing? Just an empty door? Maybe this is the exit. Alright. We probably missed some sort of a doorway. 
over here is what I'm guessing. Let's see, maybe in the piano room? I bet you there's a door there that I just can't see because it's so dark. There we go. Oh, demon baby! Right outside the door, just waiting for me. Thank you so much. Thank you, demon baby, for scaring the living crap out of me and taking all of my health once again. At least I got another level up out of that, though. So yeah, that's how the level ups work. It's, it's obviously not very... Like, you just have to use a stat, I guess, in order to get XP for it. Or the XP just applies to all your stats. Um, and then you just kind of... The more you kill, the more you play, the more the stronger you get. Very, very basic. Very simple. Kind of wish it was a little bit deeper. Um, but this is this seems like a very simple game. And it's very evident now why it's, it's $10. I think even something like $10 might be a little bit too expensive for this. Honestly, I think like... Probably five dollars is what makes the most sense to me, but it's still fun. It's a lot of fun I'm really I, I mean, I'm happy. I got it. I picked it up all by myself I'm happy that I got a chance to share like my very first playthrough with you guys So yeah, it's available on the Japanese eShop. It's a thousand yen uh, Which equates to just under ten dollars US. It's like 890 something. So uh, it's pretty fun I like it. Let me know what you guys think about it. Let me know if you're thinking about picking it up also, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to like it and subscribe for more Switch videos just like this one. Thanks, and have a great day.